How hot is it yeah. going to get then? Well, it'll warm up by Sunday, get into the oh. 80s in some spots. Yeah, low 80s. Nothing, you know, pushing 90, but still, today was a beautiful day, too. And you got to feel for uh, other folks around the country. I mean, how many times has Houston been slammed by severe weather? Some of it was just kind of off the cuff, like not expected, and it just swept in from North Texas, too. It's been that kind of spring across the rest of the country. Something in line with what we see with climate change, right? More extremes, more intense thunderstorms. We have been lucky. We've just had rain. So far, we have not had any severe outbreaks. 76 in Boston for a high, 78 in Norwood, 73 in Worcester. We're counting the days of the 70s and 80s in regular form here. But so far, we've had about 13 in the 70s and 80s. 13 days. When you compare that to 32 in the 50s. So, you know, if that's spring for you in... New England, it can be kind of drab, and we have to kind of pull ourselves out of it. And this has been no exception this year, too. Uh, of all the seasons with climate change, by the way, springtime is the one that does not show a lot of warming in New England, or for that matter, in the Northern Territories, and also across the northernmost uh, part of the United States. But anyway, shifting gears with our sea breeze in Boston at 68 degrees. This is the rain we're facing for tomorrow. Some downpours, some thunderstorms as well. This condenses into a tight ball of rain and then it's uh, thrown at us for tomorrow in the morning. So unfortunately, this does take up your morning ride. It's early that we'll start to see those showers pop up. And then once it gets going, it really nails us pretty good here between 7 and 9 o'clock. Now, where is that going to be? Is it here across Boston to the North Shore or is it across southeastern Mass? Some of the guidance has trended to that uh, south with this weather system. And then, nonetheless, most of it starts pulling away in the afternoon and we could see some glimpses of sun before the day is done. Now, it's possible that we could see in those downpours some localized flooding, not widespread, not everywhere you see this green will you get flooding. But I think it, with any downpours, you have that chance to ground saturate in some cases, more likely across Pennsylvania, where we're holding on to a, a lot of those downpours and then thunderstorms are a little bit more intense. We'll see it drop off that chance for precipitation after one o'clock. I mean, it drops dramatically, too, from 70 percent to 60 percent down to around 20 percent by mid to late afternoon. The high temperatures, well, they're not moving much here at all with the cloud cover and with the rain showers. We're only about 60 or so where the sun comes out sooner. OK, sure. You twist my arm, we get into the mid 60s. And then on Friday, we turn it around big time. We'll be in the 70s and mid 70s. We'll still have a sea breeze here. And then that chance for precip over the weekend. What does that show? Is that the null set? It is. Saturday and Sunday. Wow. It's really that good. It's really going to happen. <laughs> 75 and 78. Coastal sea breeze on Saturday. Okay. Still not a bad beach day. I don't want to negate the beach idea on Saturday, but Sunday may be a better one. We're warmest, and a lot of sp uh, folks will hit 80 degrees or better on Sunday. If you don't believe me, it's in the 10-day, too. It's carbon copy. 75, 78. There it is. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we start to ramp up the humidity and the heat, and we do pop up a couple of thunderstorms, which we will watch, actually, for Tuesday, Wednesday for any severe chances on those storms.